said one of his fondest moments was being a part of this parade. He gave 39 years, 9 months and 17 days of service to the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. While as a child he wanted to be a teacher, the fire service became his love. One of his special moments were the many opportunities to educate and train. They brought in some auxiliary fire officers to, to work around the, the, the regulars. So I had a stint at that, that. And then in 2005, 2006, I was handed a batch. Again, again, some wishes are many. But I was able to produce a product that turned out to be second to nothing. Officer Thomas was elevated to his fire sub-officer at age 32. Then three years later, promoted to fire substation officer. Then his challenges began. I was stymied a little bit. My exam results took 13 years to come to, to, come to me. In 2011, he got a breakthrough. I was well assured that I was going to be promoted. So very early, 2005, 2006, they about, I sold my khaki uniform <laughs> and had it hanging up there in, in a locker. And eventually I was elevated to the rank of assistant divisional fire officer in 2011, skipping over the rank of fire station officer, which would be equivalent to inspector in the police. Okay. I went to assistant divisional fire officer, which is like the ASP. Oh. Right? And um, following that, a couple of years after that, I was elevated to divisional fire officer. On August 17, 2022, Thomas retired as assistant chief fire officer. With an extravagant celebration including a street parade, Tobago's fire officers thanked him for his decades of service. With a smile, Officer Thomas said he gave Trinidad and Tobago his best. Not because of the elevation in the ranks, because of the way I was able to impact my officers internally and how I was able to impact the public. Right? I think if I am to look through all of what was accomplished, I am totally satisfied that I give Trinidad and Tobago my best. I am Carissa Douglas for TTT News and I love Tobago.